Hello and welcome to this very important video that I'm going to be sharing with you today because I'm going to be going along and dropping along for you some very nice golden nuggets inside of this Bitcoin chart. This video is going to be a technical analysis video. I will be talking about my trades and my next levels, but I'm also going to be sharing some real important insights from this market with you. So please, please, I ask you one thing, just block out the distractions around you, okay? Block them out so you can give me your full attention and focus. Really listen and absorb the knowledge that I will be sharing with you in this video. And I know but that by the end of it, you will have a big smile on your face and you will be more knowledgeable simply about the Bitcoin chart, okay? Why is this an important video? Because I'm also going to be talking about the stock market. And before you say it, I know the majority of the viewers don't trade the stock market, and that's fine. What I'm going to be showing you today, you do not need to be trading the stock market, but you need to be aware of what's happening on the stock market if you want to successfully trade Bitcoin, which I'm sure you do. You want to be a successful trader, even though maybe you only trade altcoins, you only trade Bitcoin, it's fine. You're in cryptocurrency. But if you want to be successful, you've got to be looking at the stock market. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you why, real reasons and, you know, evidence on the chart to support this thesis. And, you know, from my own insights and my own trading and statistics keeping, I, I know that this is uh, very powerful knowledge that I'll be sharing with you today. So, Hopefully you're looking forward, got a notepad out, get ready to take notes because yeah, today really is gonna be a very good video. Uh, and I think that's a good deal. So let's go straight into it. Um, right, where I left off my last video then, which was of course yesterday, <laughs> uh, I was making it very clear right at the time, I was in short positions, I, mean, I was looking for lower prices to come. Of course, my main target simply taking out Monday's low, but I'm very confident, short and chilling, for lower prices below this level. Why was I so confident in that level to be taken out? Well, that stems from the stock market. Understanding that the stock market is going to be dropping more to our weekly level of support. That gave me great confidence in calling out lower prices to come on Bitcoin. I will even show you some insights from inside of my group Okay, so this was back on, you know, the 21st when I was shorting at 25,300. At the time, we're, you know, it's a swing forward pattern, another swing forward pattern on Bitcoin. It's a good short trade. And also, we got to recognize that this is likely to come down lower on the stock market to the weekly, right? So then yesterday, uh, you know, waking up, doing a quick scan at around 7 a.m. And I'm telling my team more of a drop to come. We're going to come down lower. And the main target is Monday's low. We're going to be taking out Monday's low. And for me, I'm going to remain short and chill on Bitcoin until this happens. We come down and we hit the weekly on the stock market. And on Bitcoin, I'm going to remain short and chill to take out Monday's low. So first of all, I want you to truly understand how I come about this idea. It all stemmed from the stock market, right? So I'm not, let's say I'm not actively trading the stock market, I'm actively trading Bitcoin. That's all I care about right now, right? So all I'm saying on Bitcoin is I'm remaining short and chill. I'm remaining in my shorts. Of course, my shorts were from the high. I'm not gonna be shorting here, but my shorts are from the high and I'm gonna remain in those shorts and chilling for lower prices to come. And really simply, my main major target for that lower prices to come will be taking out Monday's low. Why? Because in my opinion, taking out Monday's low will coincide with a big enough drop to see the stock market hitting the weekly. And then when the stock market hits the weekly, we can readjust our biases and then go from short and chill for potentially bullish and long. And I think this is one thing that I truly want people to understand because I can tell from some of the comments, and I understand not everybody's at the same level of trading we are, right? And we have to un, you know, ed educate the uneducated because sometimes I do get some uneducated comments such as this, one day you're long, one day you're short. And this is obviously kind of a sarcastic comment saying, well, how can you be bullish one day and bearish the next day? How can you be long one day and short the next day? Well, my simple reply is that's how being a day trader works, right? One day you can be long and one day you can be short. Just fundamentally, that's be trading, right? And I just... And, you know, emphasize this comment from, from Niels. Yes, <laughs> making money every day, amazing, isn't it? Of course, we're going to lose some trades. That's naturally part of the game. You're not going to win every trade we take. Everyone has some losing trades. But if you trade both sides of the market, like Chart Champions is showing you, you can earn a lot of paper money. E.g., be comfortable long in the market. Be comfortable short in the market. Okay, when we form a big rejection from the high at 25,300, 
be comfortable shorting that. You're expecting lower on the stock market. You're expecting lower then after a swing fair pattern of the high, lower on Bitcoin, right? So be comfortable shorting the market. When it comes down and hits major targets, well then you have to be comfortable accepting now you can look for long trades. So it's part of the game, switching from bullish to bearish, bearish to bullish, long to short, shorts to long. Not for a random reason, not for a gamble, but because the data and the chart in front of you has shown you a real valid reason. And then what happened yesterday? Well, very nicely, exactly as predicted, Bitcoin took out Monday's low. OK, Bitcoin took out Monday's low and, you know, reminding my team, please keep on, on a close eye on the stock market here because the ES, which, by the way, if you don't know, the ES is the E-mini futures for the S&P 500. So we refer to the ES as the stock market, um, S&P 500, right, E-mini futures. So keep a close eye on the ES, which is the stock market here, because I understand this is key. Here you can see my comments reminding my team 4,200 was our resistance of the daily and still our important support was that weekly level, right? That's the level that we're looking for here, 3987. That's the weekly level for me, a very important level of support. And funnily enough, yesterday we had a live stream and we actually hit this level during the live stream, which was kind of nice. But yeah, for me, the weekly level is such an important level of support on the stock market. And, you know, I emphasized to my team after the live stream had finished. But as I mentioned during the live stream, the weekly level is such an important support on the ES, right? So ES bounces from this weekly support and Bitcoin is also going to be brought up and pump along with it. So this is why even if you don't trade the stock market, you need to be following the stock market if you want to trade successfully Bitcoin. Because what could have happened if you were unaware of the stock market getting this lovely bounce? Well, you could have been waiting for lower such as a lower daily level that we had here on the Bitcoin chart. If you were not aware that the stock market has hit support and started to bounce, you're going to be left in a scenario where you are remaining bearish, looking for lower, when the probabilities have now changed. The stock market started to bounce from the weekly. Bitcoin reclaimed its previous range value area low. At that moment, you've got to be changing. You've got to be updating your bias and trading the charts in front of you, which is now the highest likely is higher on the stock market OK, and that is why from that bounce here, Bitcoin is also going to be brought along with it. You see this on the stock market. We could be expecting higher on Bitcoin. And of course, that is what happened, right? You did get higher on Bitcoin. Actually saw a very nice rise to the upside. OK, so I hope that has explained that thought process well enough to you. And now we can start to move on to what we're looking at next. OK, I'll do one final recap for one minute to I just, I just truly want people to understand this. I really, really want you to understand. OK, so it all starts bearishly shorting Bitcoin 25,300, looking for a major target on the stock market down below us. That also aids me in holding into short positions on Bitcoin. Why? Because I'm expecting a drop on the stock market. I know Bitcoin follows the stock market. So if I'm looking for lower on the stock market, well, that gives me even more confidence to short at the highs at Bitcoin, right? Then yesterday I come into my group, I remind them I'm remaining short and chill on Bitcoin. And the reason of this is because real simply, I want to take out Monday's low. I want to see Monday's low taken out because that should also signify you know, the weekly being hit on Bitcoin. So, okay, so 7 a.m. yesterday, short and chill Bitcoin. Funnily enough, we did have a little rise to the upside here of around 1.65%. You can see the high being put in at 12, uh, you know, 11 a.m., 12 yesterday. Okay, so after this post, around three hours later, we did get a little rise to the upside. But if you're reminding myself, you know, I'm reminding my team short and chill, look for lower, wait for Monday's low to be taken out, or well, that rise, you could have even had more confidence to short, right? But from that rise, we saw a really nice 2.5% drop to the downside. 2.5% drop to the downside. Then, simultaneously, we are seeing Monday's low getting taken out, which for us was exactly what we wanted to see, exactly as predicted. We've now taken out the major level that we wanted to see, major target now hit on Bitcoin, or well, simultaneously, the target that we had on the ES is also hit. And this goes to show you FOMC news events don't matter. The FOMC news came out earlier than this and it actually saw a little rise to the upside, right? And lots of people thought that this could have been the low and the weekly was going to be front run, okay? Because the FOMC started to get a bit of volatility. Whereas if you stay confident in the target, if you kept your eyes on the target and you reminded yourself, 
well, what's the likelihood of this major weekly getting front run on the stock market? It's low. Well, the FOMC, irrelevant, right? Who cares what happens? Because we dropped down to the target even after the bullishness of the FOMC, it still dropped down to the target. It hit the target. And what was the reaction? Well, it was... Um, it was this, you know, we were simply hitting the weekly, you know, tapping it a few times, reclaiming market structure, lovely pump to the upside. What happened on Bitcoin? It followed along with a lovely move to the upside to around this range point of control, which we are currently getting a pullback from. I will say just before this pullback that we are seeing right now, we did have bearish divergences in this section of the chart. So we are seeing a local pullback here. But as I've mentioned already in my Champions Daily Update live stream, we did have bearish divergences here and, and these bearish divergences are playing out at the moment, right? So let's add on some technical analysis and some levels here. I just truly hope that you've understood everything here. Um, you know, I'm, I, really, I just want people to be educated and understanding of, of how I'm trading. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna be looking at what I'm looking at next. I'm gonna be explaining the thought process, right? So uh, currently, yeah, we've moved up to around the range point of control. This is obviously from the start of the range to current prices. We, we slightly front run this, okay, because that was at 24,650, okay? We obviously have got a pullback, and here we started to form bearish divergences on the CVD. So from those bearish CVD divergences, we've actually continued with a low, lower high, lower low, lower high, and bearish CVD is forcing another lower low here. It's not all doom and gloom. It's not all over yet, right? We can still form another higher low as long as we hold support of our next level to the downside, which is coming in at around $24,000. So you can write this on your charts. You know, it's really between $24,000 plus or minus $100. I call this a zone. So $24,100 to $23,900. That's our next zone of support, right? And it's around this NPC, which we're currently dropping to right now. This is fine. From here, if and when we hit this level, we can then make another informed decision, okay? Do we find support here? And if we do find support, we can actually look for our level to the upside, 24,650 to 24,800, let's just say 24,900 being the top daily. This is all a resistance zone from 24,900 to 24,650. This is our resistance zone. We have lots of volume here and top of the daily, right? So it's a simple case of Look for our next level to the downside and see if we find support. If we do, we can look for a reversal back upwards. If there's no reaction here and we simply lose the level, well then, this is no longer an important level for me, we can look back down to the daily level down here. Of course, I would be saying this, look at the stock market. As I've kind of been emphasizing through this video, even if you don't trade the stock market, if you're sleeping on this, you're not successful on Bitcoin or you're not going to be as successful as you could be. Maybe you're successful without it, but if you use this and add this on as confluence, you're going to be increase, increasing your win rate. You're not going to be missing as many trades. You're not going to be as scared to take trades, right? Because the stock market really is giving a major, major edge and heads up on Bitcoin. Okay. So for me, um, yeah, that's how everything played out yesterday. Taking out Monday's low, that was my major target. Stock market hit the weekly, stock market bounced, Bitcoin follows along and bounces with it. Here, we moved up to around range point of control, bearish CVD, local pullback, okay? And from here, we got our next level to the downside, which we can look for support to be held. If, hold, if held, we can look back up towards our range point of controls to daily, right? If we break this, then of course, we can be looking for much higher prices to come. But as always, level to level, um, you know, for me, this is the how I trade. And I also do think some people are sometimes confused by that. You know, I see people saying, um, you know, people just kind of just look at only the thumbnail or only the title and then think that that's what I'm talking about. Whereas you have to, I just really want you to understand the title and the thumbnail is really not relevant. Please just don't look at the title. Don't look at the thumbnail. Just listen to what I say and the content. And I know that if you do that, you will really improve your trading. If you look at the title and the thumbnail and you're trading off of that, well, I really don't think you're going to be trading very well. The title and the thumbnail are really irrelevant. Um, you know, you've got to be listening to my words, what I'm saying and the levels that I'm showing you. Okay, please do yourself that favor. Um, I will say this uh, before I move on to, well, we could talk about alts briefly. I just want to talk uh, and make you aware that yesterday, as mentioned, what we were looking at with that weekly level, right? But this happened during the uh, the roundtable live stream where we had myself. <laughs> These are the emojis. This is this is my emoji. This is Igor. This is Ash. This is Severin. And this is Rivalry. So we had all five of us on the roundtable last night. 
Um, we had some really good questions from the community, so we invite in the community. They can ask the questions. We'll give them the answers. And, um, you know, <laughs> you can get... This is what putting last night's roundtable into practice looks like. Cheers, gang. So you can be making a lot of profits there on your long trades. But, you know, the main thing that we're looking at here is the, the feedback. It was a very, very well-received stream. We had a lot of people saying it has to be one of the best streams they've ever watched. Uh, you know, I've picked up some amazing new coaches coaches, these guys are killing it. Yeah, I just got to say yes, 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 yes to that. Uh, it feels so good to be alongside coaches that I can really have a lot of confidence in. I can see their training results. I can see the new strategies that they're working on are really brilliant new strategies. And, you know, I have the confidence that they're also trading and making money trading, right? So for me personally, I'm more than pleased with the new coaches but then to see so many people also saying that this was like their favorite ever live stream best ever coaches round table just goes to show that you know we've, we've made some good decisions recently so for me this is all positive uh if you want to watch that live stream from yesterday then you know where to catch it over on the website chart champions.com you can catch the latest round table from yesterday uh you can listen to those uh, new strategy glimpses, right? You can listen to that. My daily update was given this morning. So if you want to get in on the daily updates, every single day we're doing the daily update, right? On a live stream Monday, Friday, every day you get the daily update sheets. If you want the speed runs, if you want the courses, if you want the cheat sheets, if you want the templates, if you want everything you're ever going to need trading, you can get that over on the website chartchampions.com. Of course, that includes Discord access where we give these levels. We talk about that. Get the trick coaches only trading channels, right? So this is Severin's new one. You know, they're coming in here, giving their trades, giving their updates, and also for rivalry to new coach, right? You know, they're, they're, they're very, 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 very active traders. You can see updates from <laughs> 3 a.m. in the morning. Of course, rivalry though is, is over on the, uh, you know, over in America, so on the West Coast. So, you know, 3, 4 a.m. updates are, are for him normal. <laughs> but yeah, if you want... <laughs> pretty much now 24 hour updates from coaches from England all the way over to the US uh, you know where to get that from me and I'm going to wrap there and say chartchampions.com I've made you aware of my biases I've made you aware of my levels I've made you aware of what I personally am looking for next um, which I would still like to see a higher rise to the upside so for me now this this pullback would be a potential long opportunity to retest these levels above us that for me would be a good scenario and um yeah from there i'll make an informed decision if we don't reject then i'll look up for really simply new highs and if we do reject or, or we are from here then i'll look down towards my lower levels on the chart right level to level as always nice calm professional and that's how we do it, CC pool style. So yeah, thank you ever so much. I hope you've truly understood. If you have, the, my, my deal was listen hard, understand, and learn. So if you've done that, you know what to do to play it back. Give a like to this video, click the notification bell, and tick the, tick the bell so you don't miss another video as it come, comes on, right? Thank you ever so much, everybody. And I'll catch you over in the Discord if you want to see more from myself and the other coaches. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And I'm going to sign out there. Cheers and goodbye.